and we are at Manchester Lani. Uh, Jeff remembers uh, the days when I was mayor. He was, I was the mayor, and uh, Jeff was living here. And uh, after uh, after I got out of office, that's when Jeff went into the military, and uh, he went to the United States Marine, was over in uh, Iraq. And um, it's July 1st right now, July 4th weekend. This is a weekend we celebrate our independence. And uh, in 10 years, we'll be celebrating 250 years of independence. But it seems as Americans, we take it for granted. Too many times we see veterans come back with no jobs, no direction. And the state legislature this year passed a bill to try and help rectify that problem. And the bill very simply uh, allows small businesses run by veterans to get a 15% uh, benefit on bids that are being uh, put out by the state of Connecticut. So if somebody bids $100, uh, a low bid is an example. Uh, if a vet comes in at $150, he's doing that 15%, that veteran's going to get the job. We do that because a lot of our vets are coming back. They've been in a military setting for a, a year or two or three. Uh, their whole life has been involved in that military setting. They're not in school. They're not getting a college education. They're not getting experience on the job. They're having military experience that, quite honestly, in many ways can't be brought back except for, obviously, the maturity and the difficulty that goes with that experience. So Jeff, Jeff's somebody that uh, has started his own business, Manchester Ronning. Uh, he bought it. He's been here in Manchester for quite a while. Jeff, tell us about, uh, about, about your experience with this and, uh, and what this bill might do for you. Well, thank you very much, Senator. Um, I appreciate you coming out and uh, speaking with us. And uh, the information about this bill seems very exciting and encouraging. Um, I feel that any recognition towards disabled vets and veterans uh, own businesses is always a good thing. I, uh, I feel this bill is going to um, hopefully impact us in a way where we get some recognition, we get our word out there that we are a disabled veteran-owned business, and some exposure, you know, so that um, every little bit helps. With the budget situation, we're not investing as much as we generally would, but we are bonding, particularly on the transportation projects and so on, and a lot of those items would fall into this category. So. We'll make sure that uh, transportation is included in this process too, because I think there's a there's a real possibility there. Um, it's uh, it's one way that the uh, legislature has said simply, you know, let's not forget the veterans, uh, let's not forget what people have sacrificed for. Uh, we see what goes on across the world every day. We live in fear as to what might take place, whether it's in Europe or whatever, in our own country, for as well. Uh, a lot of people have sacrificed their lives so that we can live the kind of lifestyle that we do. And we do a terrible job of saying thank you. So this is a bill that, that's a, a good step in the right direction. More of us need to get involved in doing these kinds of things for veterans, hiring veterans, providing uh, scholarships and educational opportunities for veterans so they can take care of their families. They've given up a lot, uh, we owe it to them. Thanks. Thank you.